presented by Caltech. My name is Megan Pagadala, and I'm a senior chemistry major at Caltech. I work in Professor Baltimore's lab, and he is a Nobel laureate. It still feels unreal that I'm working in a Nobel laureate's lab. I think it's something that I never imagined that I would do, um, but I'm doing it here at Caltech, and I think it's a testament to the opportunities that Caltech has to offer and also the amazing environment that Professor Baltimore has fostered here in the lab to support undergraduate students and to let them work in such an amazing lab. My name is Wonjun No, and I'm a junior here at Caltech working in Dr. Baltimore's lab. I originally came in to meet Dr. Baltimore because I was interested in immunology and virology and how we can use that in order to engineer the immune system so that we can create vaccines and cures to various diseases. Part of the function of a laboratory is teaching. Uh, everybody in the lab is learning, including me, and it's wonderful to have undergraduates in the lab who are at the beginning of their career in science and to help them get oriented to what discovery is all about. And graduate students come in and make a commitment to four, five, even six years of studying a particular problem. And I, I always feel that the graduate career is about depth and everything else in science is about breadth. My name is Jocelyn Kim and uh, I have an MD and uh, I'll be finishing up my PhD defending uh, this coming winter. My experience as a graduate student uh, has been great. I love working in this lab because I love working for David. Um, he's a brilliant scientist, a great person, very supportive, and uh, really promotes growth and creativity. In the future, I would like to pursue an MD-PhD degree and participate in medical research. This lab has really helped me shape that dream and my goal because it's highlighted the importance and the significance of basic scientific research and how I might be able to implement those findings into medicine. This lab has fostered my confidence with my scientific research abilities, and I think it's taught me how to be an independent scientific researcher. No one has spoon-fed me with my research. Uh, I basically make my own experiments. Um, I direct my own um, project, and I think that's something really special about this lab. I think it gives you a really realistic perception of how the research career is going to be. I don't hands-on mentor students. I give them the opportunity to find their own way in science. And I really believe that each individual has their own way of doing science, of thinking about scientific problems. And as long as they have at their core a passion for it, they'll find their way. There are hundreds of students out there who began with me, and it's, it's a joy to run into them again and to see what they're doing.